All right, guys. Today I am going to do a quick and small tutorial of how to get rid of squash bugs and squash bug eggs. Um, if you've ever had a garden or tried to grow zucchini, squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, it's all in the same family of plant, and you've probably had to deal with these bugs before. And if you have, you know that they are relentless. Um, squash bug eggs is usually your first sign that you have a squash bug problem. And right here is what they look like. Now sometimes they're on the top of the leaf and easy to spot. A lot of times they're on the underneath in these corners right down here. And I'm sure I'll find something that I can show you. But the way I get rid of them is I just take some duct tape and push it right down on there and pull off. Sometimes it rips the leaf like that, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how hard you push down, but I try not to rip the leaves, but these plants are pretty resilient. They'll be all right. Um, ah, here's some. Right down in the corner like that. And you want to get rid of these eggs. You cannot really kill them. I've tried some tried some different ways to get rid of them without having to duct tape them all because it's kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, I've tried neem oil, which is a very messy pesticide to work with. Um, and it doesn't seem to be working very well. And as you can see, like parts like this, it'll turn the leaves yellow and sometimes kill off the entire leaf. So I'm not a huge fan of that particular way of getting rid of them, but the duct tape works really well and it ensures that you get rid of them. And once you get some eggs on there, like I have done here, just flip it over, seal it off, and I know it sounds gross, but you squeeze and pop the eggs. And that's how you know they're all gone. Um, I killed some adult bugs earlier and they, let me see if I can find where it is, oh, here's some more eggs, I'm going to have to come back and get all these, but I don't know where it went, but for the adult bugs, oh man, here's some more, that's where you can see I tried to use some neem oil. And the eggs still look pretty healthy, but it started to kill off the leaf. So, like I said, I'm not really a huge fan of that particular way of doing it. I'd rather just get rid of the eggs altogether, and that way I know they're gone. Um, but sometimes when you start messing around with these plants, you'll see the adults start to pop out or crawl out. The best way to get them to come out is to water the base. And a lot of times they'll start to crawl out because they don't like the water. But a lot of times if you just come out, you'll see them crawling. Sometimes flying. But the best and most effective way I've found to get rid of the adult bugs is to spray them with a handy dandy squirt bottle filled with water and ordinary dish soap and it takes a few seconds they'll still be crawling around as soon as you squirt them but it is the most effective way i've found to get rid of them and they die within i would say about 30 seconds to a minute and it works not just for those but for these guys these little orange guys they disguise themselves as ladybugs, but they're not ladybugs. They are just a little bug, as you can see. He doesn't like that. And he's on my cucumber plant, so I don't want him there. But they're not ladybugs. They will do this to your leaves. They just eat, eat, eat. Nothing beneficial about these guys. So they work on those two. Also, 
small cucumber bugs, which look like that guy right there. And I think I already sprayed him, so I think he's dead. Soap water works on them too. Yeah, he's dead. But anytime I see these guys, I just spray them. Pretty simple. Like I said, it takes a few seconds for them to die off, but it works. And um, here's the first sign <clears throat> that your plant may have a serious infestation. We've had a big problem with these guys this year. Um, squash bugs, they go down into the roots of the plant and then they start to eat away all the way up to the stems. And if you've got a serious problem in one of your plants, this is the first sign. The roots will start to come out of the ground and they'll start to look real dead like this. And the leaves will start to curl up. And here's some babies I squirted earlier. These guys had just hatched. They're very small. But they die a lot quicker than the adults. You just squirt them. They squirm around for a second and then they're dead. But yeah, if you see these, it's just hurry up and get your squirt bottle because your garden's in serious trouble if you don't get rid of them. And an adult squash bug, I wish I could find one right now, usually they're not hiding this well, but an adult squash bug will look like, kind of like a stink bug. That's kind of what they look like. And they stink like a stink bug too if you squish them. So I don't recommend squishing them. Definitely just squirt them with some soapy water and they'll die in a second or two. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you these plants. These plants were so bad off. They were almost completely up out of the ground. And my mother and I dug them up and tried to re-root them. And most of the plant died off. But like I said, they're pretty resilient. So we cut off a lot of the dead stuff. And they seem to be coming back pretty well. This one and this one over here. Both of them. So do whatever you can to save your plants. It's not uh, not always too late. Sometimes it is. And I'll show you where my problem began. Which is way over here in my pumpkin patch. Right here. They killed off a couple of my bigger ones, and then they came over to this one, but got a pretty good handle on it so far, so got some pumpkins growing. Big one right here. The spiders are good guys. I leave them alone. They eat a lot of bugs, but I don't think they help too much with the squash bugs, unfortunately. But... Usually when the plants get really, really big, it gets tough to find the eggs. There's so many leaves. You don't know what you've gotten so far and what you haven't. But you just spotted. They're so pretty, <laughs> the way they lay them. But goodness, they will kill your garden in a, just a few days it takes if you don't catch them quick. So I'll come back with some duct tape and get those. And also, you see these guys, Japanese beetles, they will also eat your plants. So soapy water works on them as well. So that's definitely the easiest, natural, most effective way I've found to. Oh. And right here, which is something I just now discovered, is a dead pumpkin plant. I came out here yesterday found some eggs and some babies and uh, squirted them but I guess it was too late so we'll just go ahead and pull that guy out. No sense in keeping him around. But Alright guys, well I hope that was helpful. 
I don't usually do these kinds of tutorials and things, but I know that I've been having a huge problem with these and I know that uh, I'm not the only one. This is a huge problem if you grow these types of plants. So, happy gardening guys. Good luck.